For five years, business has been sweet for fruit vendor Peter Masharia at Shauri Moyo area. Business growth has often been measured in plastic. More business means more plastic bags. He uses the plastic bags to package his wares for his customers who want to eat on the go. So the announced ban notice by government naturally worries him. <laughs> A few meters away, the reason for ban is clear as the field created by the roadsides. The non-biodegradable material, plastic, lies everywhere, a hazard even to domestic animals searching for food. And when the winds intensify, the color of the trees around change according to the trash around. It's a hazard Masharia knows too well. The Environment and Natural Resources Cabinet Secretary Judy Wakumu gazetted the band end of last month that will take course in the next six months, banning the use, manufacture and importation of all plastic bags used for commercial and household packaging. Concerns now raising on the effecting of the ban. As Kenya hosts most of East Africa's established plastic bag manufacturers, with NEMA estimating 100 million plastic bags released in supermarkets alone annually. The plastic trash alongside this road in Shauri Moyo in Nairobi just goes further to show you how much damage is being done when you throw away plastic. While most trash decompose, plastic bags do not. It's not going anywhere. Countries like Rwanda have set the pace with the ban. The East African countries, including Kenya, are now in line in the bid for a cleaner region. The Kenya Association of Manufacturers opposing the ban on the multi-billion shillings investments in over 176 manufacturing companies and loss of thousands of jobs. The dilemma of a country to secure the industry over the push for a cleaner, safer environment for generations to come. Masi Kandir, JKL.